Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video how you can transfer data from the internal storage to the micro SD card at the Redmi 10. For that we will need the pre-installed file explorer, it is named here file manager at the Redmi, so and we should have it here on the starting page. If you have moved maybe, maybe the app to another place, look for this symbol. So tap it. And yeah, if you're using it for the very first time, you have to accept at first the terms and conditions and allow that the phone have access to the data and so on. Um, there's nothing bad. And after you will see this here. On the top, we will have a nice overview, nine categories, and below we have the last files. Okay, but we will need here on the very top, the symbol, which one looks like a folder. I think it is one. <laughs> So, and then we will have here the internal storage with all his folders. Okay, um, now go maybe here to the DCM folder because there you can find the photos and the videos you took with the camera. This takes a lot of storage and I would really recommend to you to transfer these kind of pictures and videos first. So just go here in the DCM folder and then you will find here uh, your pictures and videos at the camera. And as you can see, I did already some here. Okay, then mark the pictures here on the right. You want to mark, and if you want to select them all, if you have many, just tap here on that symbol at the corner to select them all. After you have here the opportunity to move them here. The symbol with the arrows here and the cross. So go on move. So, and now he gives you the opportunities where you want to move it. So we want to move it to the SD card. So now we are on the SD card. My SD card is very organized. I have many folders already. And I have here also a DCM folder already. In case you have no folder here, you can go here on more and create a folder. I would really recommend this to you because it is better for the organization later, especially if you have many photos, if you have other documents maybe around. So just uh, have folders on your SD card. Okay, I have already here, as I said, a DCM folder. Also um, with uh, the camera. Huh? Ah, so he's still working, sorry, <laughs> I was... Uh, it's uh, still in progress. It's a bit slow. Okay, now I'm here at my, uh, if you are at the folder you want to transfer the pictures in, just go here on paste and the pictures you have selected before will go here to the selected folder on the SD card. Okay, let me go back to the internal storage. By the way, you can use the uh, small arrow here next to the SD card, there's a very small arrow, which one have the direction down. And go now here to the internal storage again, because I want to show you also something else, because the same thing we did with, uh, with uh, files, we can do also now with folders. Uh, we can transfer complete folders. If you hold a folder like this, it is marked. And now you can go also here on move and add the SD card maybe then on paste and you will have transferred a complete folder. So the same thing. Um, but please take care that you just um, uh, move folders like uh, the one here, the DCM folder or here the music folder, the movie folder, or just with data which one contains only documents, videos, pictures, uh, videos, documents. <laughs> Uh, and and stuff like this because um, there are also uh, folders which one contains like this one here operating system data and if you try to move them may you can destroy the operating system and your phone is not working anymore we don't want that so just um, mark folders you're very sure that there are only documents pictures videos documents in and so on okay this is what i want to show you i hope i could help you with this video so let me show you something else because if you go you know here on the camera if you have entered your SD card, go then here on the hamburger menu, so the three lines. Go then here on the point settings. 
and then we can set up this point here save to sd card so that means that your future pictures and videos goes directly to the sd card and you don't as if you enable this yeah and you don't have to transfer it all the time and that really save time huh? so this is a point i recommend to you definitely okay yeah i hope i could help you with this video and answer your question and uh, yeah maybe if you want you can leave me a nice comment or give me a thumbs up that would be very helpful for my videos uh, thank you so so much for and yeah i've created also some other videos if you're interested in or may just subscribe me if you haven't done it before thank you so so much for all your support and yeah maybe until next <laughs> until next time ciao